All right, thank you guys. Happy Thursday to you. And if you really end up enjoying this video, please feel free to give it a thumbs up by hitting that like button. And if you haven't already joined the Brock Page delegation, please feel free to do that right now by tapping that subscribe button below. I'd be greatly appreciative if you did that. Don't take it for granted. I appreciate all your likes, comments, and subscribes. Certainly get a kick out of the uh, comments, that's for sure. But anyway, guys, we got ourselves a very tiny slate of NBA action, so let's go ahead and dive into it. I'm talking about the Lakers versus the Bucks, 7 p.m. Eastern start time at the Pfizer Forum. Now, we got ourselves a good old-fashioned pick em contest with the total at 229 flat. Now, this line has been bouncing around all morning. I've seen it as high as Lakers minus one. I also saw Bucks minus one a few times as well. Now, real quick here, guys, we went four and one yesterday in our five premium sports picks on patreon.com slash Brock Page. And you can actually join one of our Patreon memberships for as low as $1.99. Now, we currently have a community of over 1,025 sports bettors just like you who are signed up and active on that page. And if you want to join those folks and get in on the action, link for that site is in the description section below. And once again, that's patreon.com slash Brock Page. Now, guys, the Lakers are coming fresh off a 115-113 loss to Golden State a few nights ago. The Lakers have also dropped six out of their last seven head-to-head -head meetings with Milwaukee. And one more thing to add, LA is in the bottom 10 in the NBA in third quarter scoring on the road. So if you're into prop betting, that might be uh, something uh, worth diving into a little bit more. Now, of course, as usual, AD and LeBron are questionable for tonight's action. Jared Dudley and Costas Anatokounmpo are both out as well. Of course, Costas, the brother of Giannis. Now, uh, LA is taking on a Milwaukee team who's won seven out of their last nine themselves. And they rank in the top three in the NBA in scoring. The Bucs are also 6-1 straight up on their home court. And they find themselves draining 42% of their three-pointers at the Pfizer Forum. Giannis Antetokounmpo is scoring over 27 points a game along with 10 rebounds and 5 assists. Chris Middleton is also scoring over 22 a night himself. 6 boards and 6 assists for the 6-7 forward. Now the Bucs are scoring over 121 points a night at the Pfizer Forum. And they rank in the top five in defensive field goal percentage at home. Now, total-wise, four out of Milwaukee's last five ball games stayed under the posted number. They're also 60% to the under in their last 10 meetings with the Lakers. And speaking of Los Angeles, they saw six out of their last seven road games stay under the line themselves. I'm going to lean toward the Milwaukee Bucks winning this one outright and the under 229. And before we go ahead and move on, just want to take another quick timeout and welcome you to the video. Got some lines and personal leans out for Thursday's NBA action. Happy Thursday to you. The weekend is right around the corner. And uh, as always, if you're uh, feeling like you're going to play a little hooky tomorrow, basically uh, the weekend is here. Might get the sniffles a little bit. Might be at a 1-3 no limit hold'em game. Runs a little bit too late. But uh, anyway, guys, uh, before we go ahead and move on into some more free content right here on YouTube, I just have to quickly remind you once again that we are uh, we went 4-1 in our five premium selections on patreon.com slash Brock Page yesterday. And you can get yourself a Patreon membership today for as low as $1.99. Just remember, guys, when you sign up for a membership on Patreon, you get access to all the lesser expensive memberships absolutely free. So once again, when you sign up for one of my memberships on Patreon, you're going to instantly get access to all the lesser expensive tiers absolutely free. The cheaper memberships are included with your purchase. And for those who are wondering what the difference is between my free picks here on YouTube and my Patreon site, well, what I do on Patreon is I make life a lot easier for you as I break down the daily card and focus in on just four to five premium selections per day. They're my personal plays, games that I personally have action on. And I'll tell you this much, I'm having a lot more success betting on games that way in smaller sample sizes versus wagering on every single game on the slate here, side and total, like I do with my free leans on YouTube. Now, real quick, guys, we currently have a community of over 1,025 members signed up and active on that site. And if you want to join those folks and get in on the action, I'd love to have you. I strongly recommend it. And link for that site is in the description section below. And once again, 
That's patreon.com slash Brock Page. And moving on here, guys, we got two more games to go. They're both 10 o'clock starts, uh, 10 o'clock Eastern starts. And uh, our next game, it is going to be Knicks versus the Warriors. Once again, 10 p.m. Eastern tip-off in the Bay. The Warriors are the four-and-a-half-point favorite at home. Totals 215 and a hook. And if you like the Knicks in an upset on the road here, they're plus $1.60 for some money line cash. Now, the Knicks have dropped five out of their last seven. Uh, they also went just two and five against the number in those contests. New York is dead last in the NBA in scoring, and they average just 100 points a game. Now, Burks, Nilakina, and Rivers are all questionable, and they are taking on a Golden State squad who's on a two-game winning streak themselves, and they also uh, managed to successfully cover the number in six out of their last nine. Now, Golden State leads the NBA in defensive field goal percentage at home, and they score 114 points a night at the Chase Center. Steph Curry scoring over 28 points a game for the Warriors, six boards and six assists a night for the NBA champion. Meanwhile, Andrew Wiggins is scoring 18 points a game himself, five rebounds and a couple assists a game for the 6-7 forward. Now, the Golden State Warriors are in the top 10 in the NBA in home offensive rebounding as well. And when it comes to the scoring in this one, Golden State saw six out of their last seven ball games stay under the line, 75% to the under on their home court as well. Meanwhile, New York went 80% to the under in their last 10 ball games themselves, 6-2 and two to the under this season when they travel. I'm going to go ahead and lean toward the Golden State Warriors, minus 4.5, and, and the under 215 and a hook. And with that, guys, we are going to dive into our next and final matchup for the show. We're already at the last game already. It is going to be Pelicans versus the Jazz. And that's going to be a 10 p.m. Eastern start time. Now, the Utah Jazz are minus seven, totals 216 and a half. Utah is on a six-game winning streak. They're on a heater right now, playing some really good basketball. And they actually beat the Pels just a few nights ago by 16. They held uh, New Orleans to just 102 points in that contest. Utah's in the top three defensively in points allowed, top three in defensive rebounding at home. Donovan Mitchell scoring 24 points a game, four boards and five assists for the shooting guard. Meanwhile, Jordan Clarkson scoring 18 points a night from the bench, five rebounds and a couple assists for the backup point guard. The Jazz are allowing just 105 points a game, playing very good defensively this season. Now they're taking on a Pelicans team who's just 1-6 straight up in their last seven, and they failed to cover the number in 71% of those games. New Orleans is in the bottom five in road scoring. They're also in the bottom 10 in three-point shooting in that same category. And of course, when it comes to the number in this one, five out of New Orleans' last eight road games stayed under the posted total. Meanwhile, Utah's 4-1 of the under on their home court this season themselves. I'm going to lean toward the Utah Jazz, minus 7, and the under, 216.5. And And with that, guys, we're going to dive into our quick pick recap, once again brought to you by patreon.com slash brockpage, where we went 4-1 in our last five premium selections on that website. I'm going to lean toward the Milwaukee Bucks winning that one outright in the Pick'em Contest under 229. I also like Golden State minus 4.5 under 215 and a hook. And before I give you our next and final game, please go ahead and give this video a thumbs up right now if you enjoyed it. You can also subscribe right now if you haven't done so already. I'm going to go ahead and lean toward the Utah Jazz minus 7 and the under 216 and a half. And with that, guys, we're going to dive into... Some shout outs to our top 10 YouTube commenters yesterday. And we are going to start off with a shout out to my man, Will Voigt, Carlos Lacerda, Sean Nash, Abdur Rahman Muhammad. Also, want to give a shout out to Renisha Brown. And uh, we've got a couple more. Uh, shout out to TCGMD 2010, Perry Poe, Brian Resnikoff, Rocco's Pizzeria. And last but certainly not least, got to give a shout out to my man, Carter Brown. All right, guys, that's going to do it for me. Don't forget to check me out on Patreon. If you guys decide to get a package here today, just keep in mind we'll bill you the day you sign up and then the first of every month following that. Uh, also, keep in mind if you end up buying a package here today, all the lesser expensive memberships are included in your purchase. So, for example, if you get the $4.99 package here today, all the cheaper memberships are included with your purchase. But most importantly, guys, got to thank you for joining me right here on YouTube. Really hope you enjoyed all this great free content, all this great free information. And with that said, happy Thursday to you. Best of luck to you. And I look forward to seeing you later on today on my website at patreon.com 
slash Brock Page.